I am Anil Kumar. In this video, we will learn the steps to solve trigonometric equations. The equation here is sine square x minus 1 equals to 0, where x belongs to real numbers. Now, when you are given an equation like this, we are looking for general solution, right? x belongs to real numbers. We are looking for general solution. Now, this solution could be given in both degrees or in radians, right? So, that is your choice. Now, let's solve this equation to find the solution. We are given sine square x minus 1 equals to 0. You could say sine square x equals to 1 sine x equals to square root of 1 with both plus and minus values which is you can say sine x equals to plus minus 1. So sine x could be plus minus 1. Now here is alternate way of getting the same solution. Uh, the alternate method could be, let me write down, alternate method. Let's begin with sine square x minus 1 equals to 0. We could factor this. This is difference of squares, right? So we could say uh, sine x plus 1 times sine x minus 1 equals to 0. So that means there are two factors which when multiplied gives you 0. So that gives you two different solutions. One is that sine x equals to this one gives you minus 1 the other one gives you sine x equals to plus 1. So you get both the solutions, right? So either way you do, you get the same solution. Well, some of you could also convert this to cos square x, right? So let me write down the third method here. No harm. So it is your choice. So an equation can be solved in many different ways. Uh, you could have written sine square x minus 1 as minus cos square x, correct? Equals to 0, right? So you could have done that also. Anyway, <coughs> so you could use this identity, which is cos square x plus sine square x equals to 1. So now here, sine square x minus 1 is cos square x with negative sign, right? Sine square x minus 1 is minus cos square x. You could have done that also. That is to say, you could solve for minus cos square x equals to 0, right? Or cos x equals to 0, right? That also you could have done. But we'll prefer these two methods. So I prefer either this method or that method. So anyway, we do have a solution here. And we are saying that sine x is equals to plus and minus 1. Now the question is, how to write general solution of this? Now whenever the values are plus and minus 1, I prefer to sketch the graph of the function. Right? That makes things simpler. For example, the sine x graph will be, will be like this, right? Let me go this side also. Okay. That is the sine wave. Now, when we are saying that sine x is plus and minus 1, we are looking for these points. We are looking for all these points where it is either plus 1 or minus 1. Now, clearly, you can see that these points are at multiples of pi by 2, right? So this one is pi by 2. This one is 3 pi by 2. This is 5 pi by 2. Here it goes as minus pi by 2, minus 3 pi by 2, right? So that becomes the solution 
for sine x equals to plus minus 1, right? So, so the series is we could write x is equals to, uh, well, pi by 2, 3 pi by 2, 5 pi by 2, and so on. And on this side, it is minus pi by 2, um, and so on, right? So you're looking for all these as a solution. A general statement which actually writes this in a proper way, as you should write, is x is equals to pi by 2 times 2n plus 1. So that gives you odd multiples where n belongs to set of integers, right? So where n belongs to set of integers. So that completely gives the whole solution, right? And therefore, our answer will be x is equals to the solution variable x is equals to pi by 2 times 2n plus 1 where n belongs to integers. So this is the answer given in radians, right, pi by 2. Or you could also write this as, let me write, or x equals to 90 degrees, right, 90 degrees, 2n plus 1 where n belongs to integers. So that is how you could actually write solution of this equation. I hope the steps are clear to you. So whenever the values of trigonometric functions is 1 and 0, I prefer to use the wave itself, right? Otherwise, you could also use the calculator or special triangles to find the angle. I'm Anil Kumar and I hope that helps. Thank you and all the best.